Okay, I'm past where the road is now closed. Getting some great little views of canyons up to my left. Today I'm going to be hiking Pole Canyon Trail. It's going to be a short trail, um, two miles either way, I believe. It's my first time hiking in Great Basin National Park, although I have been here before. As you can see, the elevation is 7,000 foot, so this is higher elevation than what I'm used to. Might get a little bit out of breath because of that. So this is where I'm hiking on the Great Cliffs Road right now. You can see the Great Cliffs in front of me. There are some petroglyphs down here. So I'm going to check those out, see what they look like before continuing on my hike. Okay, the reason Great Basin National Park is called Great Basin is because it is situated in the Great Basin, which is um, an endohyic basin where nothing flows out of it. So this little stream to the left of me just here, that water is never going to get to the sea. So it'll all evaporate in the deserts or just sink and become groundwater. Pretty cool to think all this snow and all this water we're just going to get lost somewhere. Actually, here are pictographs. I think I mistakenly called them petroglyph petroglyphs earlier. But petroglyphs are carved into rock and these are painted on the rock. Okay, I'm continuing on my way down to um, Pole Canyon. I just spotted with my binoculars what appears to be an arch or an arch that is being formed. Let's zoom in. From this angle I can't see if it goes all the way through, but due to the thickness of the, the rock I don't think it's a complete arch. It's just a nice wide cave mouth. Bit more snow as I'm reaching the Pole Canyon picnic area and shellhead. So usually you will be able to drive down this far, though not while there is snow. So here's a little bit of information on the trail: 2.3 miles one way, endpoint up the Pole Canyon Spring. Um, so I might loop back round to the Baker Creek Trailhead. Um, elevation 6,820 to 8,430 foot. So right away there's snow on the trail. There there are the people prints ahead of me. This will slow me down a lot. It's tiring to walk through snow like this. And it's also quite bright on your eyes, the snow. So I have to keep putting my sunglasses on. I don't know if you can hear how out of breath I am, but it's difficult walking on this snow. I think quite deep in a few places. Plus I'm at an elevation a little bit higher than what I'm used to. I, I live just a few hundred feet above sea level. Never mind a few thousand.
Okay, it looks like I'm leaving the canyon right now and heading up through this field, which is quite nice. I got some views of the mountain ridges. Just a really nice view of the surrounding peaks just here. See some sides are covered in snow still. So it's still much deeper here. I took a tumble and bashed my knee on a rock just then. That was fine, just hurts a little bit. You got ice all in my binoculars. And when I fell over. It's been really slow going. Well, I'm no longer following analysis footprints, but I'm 80% sure this is where the trail runs. I guess no one's walked it since the last bit of snow. It's not the most obvious trail anyway in places, but I've seen the little channel caused by human erosion. I'm following that up through this snow. It's very hard going Fucking this now. The trail is a little bit more obvious just here, in case anyone thought I was just crazy and wandering off by myself. This is a human trail, I'm fairly sure about that. So if I can't find the route around, I can just backtrace my footsteps and head all the way right down to the parking lot. For now, I'm still happy trudging through all this snow, flattening it down for anyone who cares to follow me. Oh, I've stood out of the snow for a little while. First, because my legs are very damp and cold, and secondly, I need to tie my shoelace. Well, the snow is getting knee deep just here, and I'm fairly tired now, so if it doesn't even out soon, I'm gonna turn around and head back. Well, another sign that I'm not completely lost is that you think this is a birch tree. See how it's been cut along this, what I think is a path. So this look like, looks like there has been some maintenance work done in this area. Feel pretty cool. I could have done with some gators. Ah. Luckily, I'm fairly impervious to most forms of cold. It takes quite a bit to get me very cold. So otherwise, I'd have to put my waterproofs on. But I think I'm going to dry out as soon as I get back to the car, anyway. And I'm just going to check the binoculars here because up ahead. I'm fairly sure I can see a sign. But no, this actually is a path. I have not been spending the last hour, that's how long it's taken to get this far, up this field. You're stamping down this snow. Put the camera away and try and get to that sign, see what it says. It might say, you are lost, turn around. Okay, I've been sat in the sun for a little while and my feet are starting to get nice and toasty now. Um, it's kind of funny that the rest of my body is very warm, but my feet were just getting a bit cold walking through that snow. My shins were the coldest, they were just numb. Um, but I was just feeling a little bit of frostbite in my toes. So if, you, if I feel frostbite, stop, get your feet out of your boots, well, this is what I do. Um, get them in your warm fleece or another one piece of clothes, change your socks. Just make sure they're nice and warm before continuing onwards. Don't 
keep walking until your, your toes are numb. So once I think my toes are safe enough to continue on, I'm just gonna get, get um, ready and press onwards. Okay, Timber Creek. This is actually where I was wanting to get to. Um, just look at the map. I've gone up Pole Canyon until it reaches Timber Creek. And then I'm going to turn right here and head down to the, well, up the trail to the Baker Creek campground, which is closed. And I'm going to follow that closed road down to the parking lot where I left my car. I'm continuing on the Timber Creek Trail and it's quite beautiful here. I'm actually behind some trees but the views are starting to become fantastic because I'm getting higher up. Okay, um, it's taking a long time to get up that snow. I can see why the ranger didn't say that this path was open and then I'll tell the rangers about the snow conditions so that um, they're better informed because no one had given them a snow report for a few days that's why they weren't sure exactly what it was like out here, so I'll, I'll tell them. I can see a clear bit of path just over there to all that snow and it's tempting me. It's <laughs> saying, yeah, you got not very far to go but it's still a long way in terms of effort to get through all this snow. Oh, I almost went down. Oh, getting quite tired. I've been going for four hours in the cold. Um, a lot of that was going through that snow. The path that I was following looks like it was caused by snow boots or snowshoes or something and it's actually ooh, much harder to walk on it because they've pressed it down but not all the way so I keep losing my foot in but if I walk just to the side of it it's much more stable well I've come down from the pass up there yeah, it was really really tough going through that um, the snow was maybe three four foot deep in places, it was coming up well with my belt and I still wasn't all the way down. Um, oop, just like this little bit here. Oh, oh my knees again. You know, um, I probably shouldn't have gone up the Timber Creek Trail. That pass there was quite bad. And the sun is quite nice and warm now. I think the only way to describe it is delicious. It just feels so good. And I'm back to where my car was. Yay! Uh, they've still got the barrier across the road, closed it off. You know, a lot of the road is actually completely free of snow. Quite tired now. Okay, I made it back safe and sound, and I hope you enjoyed my trek through Great Basin National Park. Uh, I thought it was a really nice trail, really pretty. A uh, bit too much snow um, this time of the year, it's still middle of March. But later on in the season, it'll be amazing to go hiking and get some of the higher elevations there. Okay, until next time.